here are the parts that we cut out in the last video to make the rails and the ends but I made a mistake this shouldn't stick out like that I need to remove part of this brace from each of the ends of the bed uh, so as punishment for making that mistake I have to put everything away get out the table saw set the table saw up trim two pieces of the ends of the day bed and put the table saw back away again won't make that mistake again so let's look at how these ends go together there's a brace between the legs there's an armrest and there are three bits of broomstick to separate them and before we assemble them let's give them all a final sand i just have 120 grit sandpaper on this belt sander and each part gets a final sand takes off any of the fill or any of the special mixture of sawdust and glue that we put into this silk yoke smooths everything down ready for assembly much easier to do it now than after you've assembled everything okay and a little hand sand to round off the corners and the edges don't want any sharp corners or edges and then we get some very nice smooth pieces ready to assemble so here are the pieces for the two ends and we're going to start by assembling the brace that goes between the two legs and uh, we're just going to do a simple butt joint for that uh, just glued and nailed this joint doesn't have a lot of force on it so some glue and some nails and a simple butt joint will hold this together nicely Then I'm using a nail punch to punch in those nail heads. We don't want to see them. And then some filler to fill in where we punched in the nail heads. And then those nails would be nicely concealed. All right. Uh, now I'm using the broomstick as a spacer to show exactly where I want this brace to be between the two legs of the daybed. And marking it up with a pencil and then marking a couple of good spots to put a drill hole because I'm going to screw and glue these legs and braces together screw and glue is a very strong joint yeah and we do that to both ends All right, now I've got this very useful long four millimeter drill bit and I made this uh, straight drilling guide. It helps me drill square and straight through large pieces of timber like this one. So I just uh, place the guide on the piece of timber I want to drill. Try and keep the drill bit exactly in the corner of this guide. And that helps me start a nice straight drill hole. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty square. Yeah. Okay, so there are four legs, three holes in each leg. Sand off any rough bits on the other side.
Now I'm planning to join the legs with these 100 millimeter screws. You can see they're too short to go all the way through. So we need to sink them in a fair bit by drilling a hole that the head will go through. So I think that's an eight millimeter drill bit. And I want it to go about halfway into the block of wood, into the leg. So I'm marking it with a piece of tape. So that I can be sure it goes the right distance in not too far. A very easy process. Just giving it a light sand after each time, remove any rough bits. And there are all the parts we need to make the ends. They're ready to assemble and we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.